Hi everybody, it's Danny Johnson with ADU Resource Center and today I'm with August Martin. We're in Los Angeles and he has two very interesting projects as you've already seen in the video. So I want to talk to him about the journey. So we started, I think we were talking earlier, we started, is it been two years, almost two years? Because yeah. it was 2021 when it we was started. August of 2021. Right? Yeah. So first things first, the waiting time is long for plans and permit. Do you remember how long it took you for yours? I think that was from the time we start, as I think our process took about three or four months to get the design and then permits were probably like five months. Yeah, yeah. Five to seven months actually. And I'm gonna show a picture of the design concept and so okay. forth. And I wish we could take credit for it, but we didn't do it. It was all on you. So the next question I wanna ask you is, where did all these ideas come from? Because this was a storage unit, that unit up front was a garage, yet it's got a sleeper loft and bolt and it's just absolutely fantastic. So the question is, for the viewers watching, how do you think this stuff up? Because sometimes customers have a vision of their own like you did, others have no clue. They have to ask us, what do you yeah, guys absolutely. recommend, right? So did you think about this or did it develop as you were just doodling? Now, I had a vision in my head because I'd been thinking about it for a while. I think the, uh, the design, the aesthetic comes from, because it's part of a four unit building. So, and the design of the area is Spanish style. So I knew I wanted to do terracotta and wood finishes. and Multi-family, four units over there. Now we added two more units. Exactly. Okay. So we had to keep with the main theme. I wanted to keep with the main theme. Right. Um, I knew for sure I wanted as tall ceilings as possible. And so one of the benefits of doing the loft is that you also get the tall vaulted ceiling, <clears throat> tall va vaulted ceilings. And that makes a big difference because when you walk in, right, you really kind of need nine feet or more really to make your room well, feel bigger. Even, this even is, if it's a small room, it makes a big difference. Exactly. This, for example, this is 340 square feet. The other one's 360 square feet. That's yeah. a garage. This was a storage unit. If we had a traditional eight foot wall, it would feel small, this but it doesn't really anymore. Now yeah. it feels like, wow, that's got a big cathedral style ceiling. So it's a trick to make smaller spaces feel big. Um, and how windows about, too, like the floor to ceiling windows helps make the room look larger. Absolutely, sure. absolutely. And I noticed you put a lot of clear story windows in here for natural lighting, so that keeps it nice, bright, and cheerful. Um, the construction process, after you got done with the plans and permits and you started the construction, how was that transition? Because you went to ADU Resource Center, so we did the design for you, we did the plans, and then we went to the construction. Was the handoff smooth? Was it, was it awkward? Handoff was great. Your was G good. Yeah, your GC was on top of it, kept a contract, and um, yeah, it was great. That was, that was easy. Really How about easy. The, the finishes? Is this all you? Did you think of, did you pick out everything or did yes, they show you sad? I picked out everything. Okay. I had a vision. Did you stay within budget or did you go over slightly so on some things? I stayed pretty much in budget. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Yep. Um, last question. Um, you're almost at the very end of your journey, right? Yes. You've you only got a couple boxes to check left. Yeah, almost done. If you could sum it up and tell the viewing audience, is there anything that you learned along the way that if you did it over, you would do differently? And do you have any recommendations for people doing their first? This was not your first project. You did yeah. one before. Yeah. But for somebody watching who's scared, said, I can't do that. I don't know, I don't know what he knows. He yeah. knows how to do it. I don't know how to do it. What recommendation would you give to people that are starting and what things have you learned on the way that you could give as a tip? Yeah, my, my focus is always just maximizing every single square inch of your property. Optimizing but I think, it. But I think um, the things I always believe in is having a yard, even if it's tiny, a little patio for people to be outside, that's their own. Right, I agree. Um, I think having a sizable closet that's a big, because a lot of people need that. That's a big sell. Right. Um, maximizing your kitchen cabinet space, having a fully functional kitchen, making that happen no matter what. Um, and then having good windows and tall ceilings. Those are my like principles. Okay, okay. If you did it all over again, would you still have done it with ADU Resource Center? Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, you guys made it easy. Congratulations, thanks August. Thank you.